So Abby Nichols will have hip one. Katie Wasserman, hip two. Katie Camarina, hip three. Courtney Hustmith, hip four. Gina McNamara, hip five. Brianna Scott, hip six. Kaylee DeLay, hip seven. Anna Connor, hip eight. Kyla Nigam, hip nine. Marie Eve Turcott, hip ten. Allison Andrews Paul, hip 11. Sandra Gilmartin, hip 12. Mandeep Sanga, hip 13. Amy Bacolo, hip 14. Olivia Roussel, hip 15. Ella Ballard, hip 16. Elia Brody, hip 17. And Brooke Lawler, hip 18. Adam, I ran my lifetime best in this event in a race in Belgium that boasted 21 women on the line. I can attest to how difficult this is to navigate these girls doing a really good job of staying on their feet through this opening 200 meters. As we mentioned, Heisterman, a capable athlete in her own right, leading the charge through 300 meters. She will take our field hopefully close to 1,000 meters as our rabbit will get you some splits, but a very deep field indeed. Behind Heisterman, our rabbit sits Abby Nichols, and she is out of the Northern Arizona elite crew, unfortunately unable to get an accurate split there for our first 400 meters, but it should have been right around 68 seconds, which would be very quick. Again, Nichols, the American athlete, she was fifth in the 3000 meter and sixth in the 1500 meter at the US indoor champs this year. She was second at Harry Jerome two days ago in 40813, 10th in the 5000 meters at the USA outdoor championships last week. So coming off of lots of excellent racing and looking for a seasons, if not a lifetime best here in the 1500 meter in Victoria, that Northern Arizona elite group, a number of athletes I had the pleasure of training with in my time up at 7,000 feet of altitude, 155 on the clock at 700 meters with two laps to go. And I've got to say, Nichols looks really comfortable behind Heisterman, our rabbit. And here we'll get a fairly accurate 800 meter split for you. And that's about 212 on the clock. Very, very fast. That's an excellent run there by Nichols as Heisterman steps off. And just behind Nichols, her teammate Wasserman, also out of the Hoka NAZ elite group, 40840, her season's best. She was third behind Nichols at Harry Jerome. So both of these athletes very capable, but running all by themselves at the moment. We should mention that the meet record 40916, courtesy of Paula Schnurr, who is now a coach in Ontario. That dates back to 1992. And these runners trying to do their very best to get under that 410 mark or better as we approach the bell. It continues to be Abby Nichols at about 3.02 with 400 meters remaining, Adam. So Nichols went out with the pace setter Heisterman early and then they opened up some separation on the rest of this field and the field has not been able to bring Nichols back in. Teammate Wasserman still running in second and third it's Kaylee DeLay. So Adam, 318 on the clock at 1200 meters. That is really fantastic running. Nichols continuing to lead this pack, but 318 puts them on 407.5 pace. And you can see now the push behind her, her teammate Wasserman doing everything she can to close that gap. It is US one, two and three as Nichols with all the work up front heads into the home stretch, but look behind her. Big push now by Wasserman trying to contest, but I believe, Adam, it's going to be Nichols to the line. Meet record 409.16, and Nichols is going to take the win, and it looks like she's going to set a new Victoria Track Classic meet record in the women's 1,500 meters. Wow, outstanding running. That is so exciting by the American Abby Nichols. She should be very happy with that. Again, unofficially 407 and change on the clock across the line. That sets her up very well for a meet record of over a second and a half. That would also be very close to her lifetime best. Big push by Wasserman behind her to come through in second under beautiful conditions here at Centennial Stadium in Victoria. Another smooth operator, 407.47 unofficially for Abby Nichols out of 
that NAZ elite group. A nice high five by her teammate. Look at the power. She's got really good arm carriage. Holds things together, even though that fatigue is setting in. Nice, fast turnover all the way to the line. You see the really excellent grit on the face of Wasserman behind her, but it is Nichols across the line. Smooth and confident. Nichols taking the victory here in Victoria. 407-24, a new meet record. It will not be a lifetime best, but a season's best performance by her. 407.47 for Nichols. Wasserman, 408.98. Two women under the previous, Nash, uh, previous meet record, I should say, set by Paul Schner back in the early 90s. So Nichols will pick up $300 for the victory, and she's going to pick up an additional $300 for setting the new meet record.